and uh, very good day to everybody um, I've had a couple of requests uh, regarding my test up wind turbine I have uh, to be honest it's been uh, going for a number of months now or almost a year and like you can see it is still spinning fine the wind has uh, picked up quite a bit today uh, and you can hear the uh, wind turbine breaking itself um, I can't remember what I've set the voltage to now but to just to clarify I wanted to use this uh, wind turbine um, tying it into my solar system for my house I've got an 8 kilowatt or 9 kilowatt uh, uh, solar system that I'm using but the MPPTs uh, require 250 volt um, to actually open up and start uh, you know, generating power into the house. Now, the TESAP wind turbine only puts out a maximum, I think, of 55 or 57 volts. Uh, and I obviously need a step up uh, converter. To step up that voltage from a minimum of 12 volt to uh, to uh, 250 volt, and uh, I am not the man to figure that out. Unfortunately, I'm not the most clever guy when it comes to uh, uh, electronics, and thus far, I haven't had uh, you know, got anybody to actually help me design something like that. The wind turbine controller that comes with uh, the TESAP uh, uh, wind turbine is not bad. I mean it's not great. It's not the uh, most robust system I think. It, uh, it does everything it needs to. Um, it obviously does uh, control the speed of the wind turbine. It has got a dump load facility and uh, if you only need to charge a bank of normal uh, lead acid batteries this will work fine I mean like I said this wind turbine has been going now for over a year in uh, fairly harsh uh, uh, circumstances you know we've had uh, some serious wind here uh, and the breaking of the wind turbine works relatively well. There are times that the wind is so strong that the brake doesn't hold and um, you know it does turn uh, under braking but uh, what I do is if there's a storm coming I just tie the uh, wind turbine down. Um, I've got fairly easy access to it so um, uh, yeah I, that's how I manage it. And because I really not using it at this stage for what I intended it to use, because I'm <laughs> also making more than enough power with the solar, um, this was supposed to be an experiment to see if I can expand the reusable energy. But uh, yeah, like I said, the wind turbine works fine. There is absolutely no problem with uh, the output um, of the wind turbine. For charging uh, normal lead acid batteries it is 100% um, and uh, build quality you know like I said it's been going for a year it has built up a little bit of rust here and there um, and so far I've had there's no problem with it um, I believe there's an upgraded one now from the this one I've got what I did when I got the wind turbine and uh, like I said, the, the parts that they've been using wasn't the greatest. When I say the parts, it is um, you know, things like uh, the screws and bolts and so on. And so before I, when I put the whole thing together, I used silicon to seal up every hole that I could. I sealed up all the, um, the bolts use silicon to seal up the holes when I turn, um, screw the bolt in I use silicon for that and that seems to have stopped any water or anything from entering the turbine um, I wasn't I didn't want it to be able to rust in the inside where I can't you know uh, 
I guess it's going to be more difficult now to take it apart. But thus far, a year later, it is still working fine. Um, I guess another year later from now, I probably have to take it apart and uh, if nothing else happens to it, but I have to take it apart and give it a good uh, paint job or anodize it or, you know, some other way of just coating and stopping rust from forming further onto the, uh, onto the blades. Um, it's really not uh, the blade section, it's actually just the, uh, the steel um, holding the blades that has got a bit of rust on it so you know uh, it's it's not a big it's really not a big deal and it is uh, really working well uh, I really hope that uh, I can get uh, this thing tied into my uh, grid at some stage I am going to try and see if I can get uh, you know somebody to help me build a system so that we can uh, step up the voltage um, I looked on the internet and it looks fairly uh, you know easy but like I say I'm not uh, clear with when it comes to uh, uh, all these electronics and uh, yeah so let me uh, know if uh, you have got any ideas on it but uh, you know as far as the product it is a cheap wind turbine which works. I mean, I can buy three of these wind turbines for the price of one that I can get, cheap one that I can get in South Africa. And uh, yeah, so if I have to replace this wind turbine every three to five years, it's still cheaper, you know, to, to do it this way. And uh, unfortunately, I just need to make it work into my system. Okay, so um, I stand corrected. I see uh, we're going up to 70 volts on the uh, wind turbine controller. It's very gusty. You'll see the voltage fluctuate quite a bit. But anyway, this uh, is the uh, wind turbine controller. Um, I have only got power going into the wind turbine at the moment, or, or into the wind turbine controller, I should say, and no output voltage. Um, like I say, you know, it is not the greatest design, I guess. It's not the most expensive, um, but it does the job. Um, you know, if I, if I regulate the voltage, um, you can regulate whatever you need to, and the wind turbine will then regulate whatever you have set. So let's see if I can do um, uh, 13 volt if you want to charge a 12 volt battery. Um, it is a bit gusty. So, but yes, we can see it is regulating to that voltage that we've set. Um, and there's a battery charge function and the inverter function. Now, if I, um, I am not 100% sure what the difference is between the two, to be honest. Um, I assume that uh, the battery's function is also just uh, for regulating the voltage. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't found anything in the... Um, in the manual on what the difference is. Um, I haven't also, I, ha I haven't uh, spoken to them or wrote them an email to try and find out uh, where the difference is. Um, anyway, so like I said, this is the controller. This is, uh, there's nothing strange or, you know, about it. And for using it, as a battery uh, charging batteries that is working 100 percent 